Here, state and local leaders reaffirming their commitment to the people of East Palestine two months now after that toxic train derailment. Today, Governor Mike DeWine joined health officials in Columbiana County this morning to open a new permanent health clinic. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live in the newsroom with more tonight. Jordan. Yeah, this health clinic will be operated by East Liverpool City Hospital, and its purpose is to be a vital health care lifeline, especially for those impacted by the derailment. These communities came to life by the railroad tracks, and they were forever altered by them, too. In this part of Ohio, the railroads to stand up are inescapable. It can take many months to stand up a primary care practice. And what we see here is the result of a lot of community collaboration. Two months after February's train derailment, state and local leaders doubled down on their commitment to the community's future health needs and cut the ribbon on a new health clinic. Oh, it was very important to get this set up right away. Operated by East Liverpool City Hospital, with the help of the Ohio Department of Health, the clinic aims to be a permanent resource for those whose future health needs may be uncertain. Today, we're here with a legacy, a primary care practice that will be here for this community for many years to come. We will also be able to provide screening tests as it relates to the train derailment. These tests will be based on recommendations from the Ohio Department of Health, along with collaboration from their specialist. One of the primary objectives for the new clinic, officials say, is to provide long-term testing and support for the hundreds of first responders that raced to East Palestine on the night of the derailment. Although the clinic will initially be funded through public money, Governor DeWine believes Norfolk Southern will eventually foot the bill. We are also, though, uh, you know, looking to the railroad for reimbursement for this. Uh, so far, uh, you know, as we as we have asked them uh, every week or every other week for reimbursement, uh, they have been willing to do that and they have in fact done that. Governor DeWine says the air and water testing also continues in East Palestine. So far, the fire chief says that none of the first responders that raced to the scene the night of the derailment have reported any illnesses. In the newsroom, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. All right.